Hello everyone and welcome to the next Monte Carlo simulator video. In the last video we created our dice and in this video we want to create our better. So eventually we'll have some more sophisticated betters but for now we're just going to start with an extremely uh, simple better and even this simple better has a lot to show us about um, odds and outcomes and all of that so uh, we have a lot to learn from this simple better. Uh, with that, the next thing that we need to do really is we're going to edit this roll dice function. So right now it just returns the roll. Uh, but actually, let's go ahead and just have it return since really what we're looking for here is, yeah, we care about the roll kind of. But actually, we care whether or not we had a win or a loss. And we just need something that generated a win or a loss at the odds of 49% um, chance of winning. Um, so let's go ahead and write that out, though, just uh, for kicks. It's going to be if roll equals 100 um, if that is the case uh, and in fact hold on since I'm gonna write some stuff out let me adjust the size here real quick okay if the roll is 100 we're gonna print whatever the roll is hopefully it's a 100 we'll just print it for checking purposes and we're gonna have it say roll was 100 you lose what are the odds play again <laughs> okay so if you roll 100 uh, that's what's up and instead of returning um, the roll let's just have this return true or false so if you won it's gonna return a true and if you lost it's gonna return a false so so if the roll is 100 we'll just return false elif roll is less than or equal to 50 um, then we print roll and roll was 1 to 50 you lose lose you nice <laughs> you lose play again finally come down here L if um, 100 is greater than the roll yet the roll is less or greater than or equal to 50 so basically what this means is if the roll uh, is within 50 to, actually, hold on here. If the roll is less than or equal to 50, so 0 to 50 we already have, 100 we have, so actually this needs to be um, really greater than 50, so 51 and on. Uh, the next thing we want to do, so if this if this is the case, well, then the user just won. So we'll say print roll just for um, debugging purposes. And roll was 51 to 99. You win. Pretty lights flash. Play more. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, oh, and we forgot our return false here. So come here, return false. And here again, uh, we're going to return true because this time the user won. Um, let me scoot over now. Okay, so now we have the proper roll dice function. And now let's go ahead and create a very simple better. So with that, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Um, and then we're going to define simple underscore bettor. And within here, we're going to have a few parameters. What are the funds that this better starts with? What's the initial wager? So how large is this guy going to uh, wager? And, uh, and eventually, uh, we might decide to change our wager or increment the wager based on a win or a loss. Um, and then finally, wager count. How many wagers are we actually looking to do here? Okay. Um, so now we're going to say his value. So how much money is in his pocket? Well, first he's going to start off with however many funds we say this guy has. Um, but then later on value might change. And then wager. So what's his current wager? Well, at least he's going to start with the initial wager. And then here we're just going to have current wager. And this is going to mean like wager count basically. Uh, so current wager is zero. And now what we're going to do is while current wager is less than wager count, so while the current numbered wager that we're on is less than the total number of wagers we intend to do, we're going to do, we're going to roll the dice, right? So if roll dice, so basically what this is asking is if true, 
right? So if, if roll dice returns a true, this will this will run. So if roll dice value plus equals wager. So if roll dice returns a true, that means hey, we rolled the dice and we won. So to our value, our funds, uh, add the wager because we just won. Um, else value minus equals wager because we just lost. Uh, then the next thing we're going to do is uh, current wager plus equals one. So we just did a wager, so we'll add one to that counter. And um, I guess for debugging purposes, first we'll print funds down here. So print funds colon um, value. So we'll just do that once. And now let's go ahead and call simple better. So simple underscore better. And our parameters, again, we have funds. How much money are we going to start with? We'll say we'll start with 10,000. Um, the initial wager size, let's do $100 each. And how many wagers do we want to do? For now, let's just say 100. So we'll save that, and let's go ahead and run it. And let's just read through some of our results just to be sure that uh, our math is doing what we actually expect it to do. So. Um, we lost, so we lost 100, makes sense. We lost, so we lost 100, makes sense. We won, so we gained 100, makes sense. We lost, 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 lost. We won, pretty lights, 95. Okay, so anyway, after 100 bets, just for kicks, let's see where we stand. 8,800, we actually did pretty poorly, uh, even though we had 49% odds. Uh, so anyway, close that. So simple better, not doing so hot, but that was only one reality. So again, like let's run it though again, and let's see now. This guy actually <laughs> got did even worse. Eight thousand. This is another reality, right? So even though you might only play as a simple better once, one of these outcomes can be yours, but you wouldn't get both of these outcomes. Surely somebody will profit. I'm just trying to find us a profit. There we go. This guy profited, right? He ended with an actual profit. Does that mean his um, his strategy was a good strategy? No. But generally, that's how we uh, value people is, is based on their profits, not necessarily their strategy, which is interesting because um, statistically, there must be people um, who are highly profitable just based on odds. Uh, so it's actually kind of interesting. So anyways, we're going to see a lot more of this, and then we'll, soon we'll see you know, with a, pool, a large pool of people um, how this works. So anyways... Uh, stay tuned for the next video. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.